The German Shepherd is a pet that relies on having high attack to be useful in battle. So why would you run a 1 attack, 1 health German Shepherd? Well, to create a legend, of course. A legend never before seen in the SAP arena. Hello friends and welcome to the legendary tale of the 1 attack, 1 health German Shepherd. Here is the pack, and you know normally with these videos I like just let it roll and I banter and I explain the build. And I will do that in a few minutes. If you're only interested in seeing just the build and the final cook, I would suggest skipping forward to like turn six or seven or something. But I actually want to use this video also as a bit of a channel update. So to my loyals, to the people who have known me for a long time, I do need to provide an update. By the way, we just played Dune, Sap Dojo Legend. So the personal update is that the day that this goes up, uh, I will be about... Three days into Ramadan. So I'm a Muslim and this is like our blessed month. If you don't know what Ramadan means, it's like we're fasting Muslims for a whole lunar month, which is about 28 days. We fast while the sun is up. So no food, no water, nothing past the throat. Uh, and dude, it's the most beautiful like month you'll ever have of your life. I love Ramadan. Uh, but it's come at an interesting time in my personal life. Like there's some stuff I don't want to share just yet, but... Uh, I guess what I will say is that I have pushed myself physically and mentally very hard for the last couple of years and my wife is pregnant and we have... <sighs> okay, there's a lot of things happening, right? So <laughs> why am I saying all of this? Uh, it's just... It's time that I slow down a little bit on YouTube and it's not forever. It's just to get through this next stage of my life. Like last Ramadan, I really, really pushed myself physically and you feel... You feel invigorated during Ramadan to the point that you think you can push. Uh, but you definitely... It's definitely not the best approach. So yeah, I look. I've actually... For the first time ever, I've re-recorded this video a few times. And I found I was getting too rambly. So let me just try to surmise it really quickly. I love this game and this community so much. That I've been willing to like just push even when I'm tired. You, If you look at my old videos, I didn't have like sleep bags under my eyes. If you see me up close, I've got bloody suitcases under here. And I'm happy to push for the sake of the community, but I need to be smart or you're just going to see me cooked and exhausted every single thing. And also like uh, I, I feel an obligation like to my members and to people from here and on Twitch, you know, like... As much as I hope that I brought some semblance of like quality and happiness to your life and know that it really is felt right back on my end. So I do have that obligation, but I just want to kind of do it right. And that's all I'll say for now. Just I would be I would say I'll be going to like three or maybe two to four videos per week in the short term. And then I'll try and find a solution that's best for me and, and the viewer, man. Like and and we can keep hopefully like bringing a, a sort of like a improvement in quality of life to each other's life. There we go. I hope that wasn't too rambly. Let's get into the run now. Uh, so this stoat is the ticket to getting our 1-1 German Shepherd. And I should say straight up, this build is absolute garbage. It is so bad. This took me... I tried this for about a hundred... And I, I, would, I would guess somewhere in the range of 140 to 200 attempts. Days upon days upon days upon days because it's so bad so what you need first and foremost is a stoat cell into a german shepherd which is a one in ten chance now since the unicorn pack even if you don't hit german shepherd on the stoat cell you can get there uh but then you're wasting gold on a build that is already bad we'll see that later next thing you need is an armadillo to give a whole bunch of health and then you need a hyena another tier five unit to turn that health into attack and that's how the german shepherd goes from one one to being semi-functional. We'll see that coming up. The problem is carrying a stoat and that gold investment means you're weak in the early to mid game. And then guess what? The, the, the build is weak even once you get it. So I had a few that got close prior to this run. But for the most part, like it was just like losing on turn 11 or turn 12. <laughs> over and over and over again but look we're grinders man this is what we do okay now it gets interesting we need this armadillo to have higher attack than the hyena because the armadillo needs to trigger first health 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 then the hyena does a little switchy of attack and health you'll see it here actually you won't because it dies 
And in that case, the hyena, they had equal attack, 50-50 chance. Anyway, that doesn't matter. We can skip the battle if we want to, but we won't. So this is a usual predicament when I'm running this absolutely horrendous build. Is that we're on one health on turn 11. But we actually hit the 1 in 10 chance. When I sold that stoat, it could have been any of these bad boys. And we hit it first try. So, now, the armadillo needs higher attack. Which it does. So this is shaping up well. We'll keep running it. You know, we'll speed it up. And now you want something that summons to trigger. And really, if I'm being honest, you probably want a tiger. Which means you're not scaling, but at least you're getting extra triggers. Now, let's see it in effect. Slow it down. Here comes the health. Switcheroo, like Will Smith said. Great peanut value. And now our German Shepherd has 17 health. So it actually has some ability now. It's You can see it there. It's giving 12 attack to anything summoned. Ooh! The legendary 1-1 one, one German Shepherd. We're on one health, but we're clinging on, man. Like, we're not fire. We're not dying just yet. And we get the lemon. And boy, am I happy to see that lemon, because this was the easiest snipe in existence. Are we bring in a wolf to stay strong. You have a decision, right? You know that you need these. You know you need armadillo. You know you need hyena. You know you need German shepherd. The other units are flexible. You could bring in scaling. But I chose just summons for the time being. And boy, did that work out well. Ooh, the legendary 1-1 one, one German shepherd. Like... To me, the pain of going through this build and, and then getting a run you're happy with is worth infinitely more than just running like the same cheese that you've been running for nine months. So here we are, turn 13. We're freezing valuable perks. There comes the switch. And wait, can I pause right here? I think there's a really interesting case to be made that if you can just get an early armadillo to level two and a hyena, and then you just run... Forget the German Shepherd, just run summons at the back. I think that build, like, is almost a guaranteed win. Because, look, everything just ends up trading. Like, that's what I noticed during this. I think there's a legitimate case to be made that that is a great tempo play. <laughs> Although it looks horrendous at first. Okay, so now we're finally getting units. We really need... we What we really wanted was a level on that armadillo. Because then... The German Shepherd, instead of getting 17 attack, would get 25. Unfortunately, we don't. So I put a Cherry to get an extra summon from my German Shepherd, or extra buff for my German Shepherd. And look, I mathed. I did the... I'm bad at math, but believe me, I did the math. If this Armadillo was level 3, we win this battle. But instead, it is a heartbreaking loss. And look, man, like, I have so much going on, I just don't have the time... So you know, you know I'm a grinder at heart. Bad break point there, by the way. You know I'm a grinder. Normally, I would just refuse to give up on this, but, you know, as is emblematic of where I'm at in life and the changes coming to the channel, I don't have time after somewhere around 150, 200 attempts. I need to call it on this. Very, very, very fun build. And uh, look, just once again to my regular channel members, uh, I really genuinely like this community means so much to me and I want to make sure that I'm physically and mentally able to give my best so it'll chill out during Ramadan uh, but then afterwards we'll see like uh, a lot of Twitch a lot of YouTube hopefully and uh, anyway I hope you're all happy I hope you're all healthy I hope you're all safe uh, and look if you are doing Ramadan yourself Bismillah I hope that it's a beautiful time and if you know people doing Ramadan around you uh, show some solidarity, show some love, maybe even try it for a day. It, it's a beautiful thing. All right, people, enough rambling. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.